Hey guys, so in a previous video we created this page, our config page, which stores the endpoint of our API as well as our API key. So now we actually need to get our module to talk to this API. So we are going to create a connector. Um, this can be this is going to be um, stored in the source directory, and you want to call it movie API connector. You don't actually have to copy what I'm doing. You can name it whatever you want. It just you have to remember what it's called when we create our custom service. Um, so initiate the class. So class movie API connector. Let's start off by creating a couple of um, private variables. So our first variable is going to be client. This is going to um, this will be our HTTP client, which will allow us to actually speak to our um, um, API. The next one is going to be query. Well, I will explain that a little bit later on. Um, so now let's set a construct for this function. Construct. So we're going to use the client factory provided by Drupal, and that's going to be client. So let's do client for now. And now in here, we are actually going to call the data from this page here. We need to somehow get this data and then store it within our, our um, connector class. So in order to do this, we need to use the Drupal state. So we're going to use store this in our variable as well, API. So create a variable called movie API config. Um, again, th these are variables. It's entirely up to you what you want them to be called. We're going to use the state manager and then get. Now, if you recall, we actually created um, a, um, a form for this. So what I'm actually going to do is call our form and then get the config page name. So this was a constant within that um, form, within that class, sorry. So if I open up that class, you will see this constant here and this is what it was. And in our submit form, we actually set the values from our submitted form to this movie API config page constant. So we're literally, instead of, um, setting in our construct we're actually getting so we're getting the values that were stored on this page um, next we want to um, break it down a bit make it easier to read as well so in the future if you come back to this you know exactly what's going on so we're going to create it, um, two variables api url as well as api key um, so let's get the api url first we're going to actually check if it actually exists base url So I think this, by the way, this is a um, PHP 7.4 thing where you can actually use this operand. So it, it, essentially this is a very, uh, it's a one line if statement. So we're checking if this exists, then provide the value it's given. If not, then provide this default value, which is pretty much the same as what we have in our config page anyway. So that should be fine. So API dot the movie db dot org I really should just copy and paste it but fine okay so now we want to do the same for our API key so again we want to check if it does actually exist API key if it does exist give it to us if not we're gonna set it to blank next up we're going to actually create our query and our query will consist of our API key. So API underscore key is equal to AP, oops, API key. And we're now going to set our query to be, so we're gonna set our private um, variable here to be this. So this is gonna be this query is equal to query. Next up, we're gonna, this is the fun part. We're actually going to try and connect to our endpoint. So that's going to be this client is equal to client, which we set up over here. And we're gonna pass in some options. Um, let's add a semicolon. So our base URL, URI rather, sorry, is Yep, you got that right, API URL. And a query is our query. 
So what we're doing here, we're telling the endpoint that look, we were passing in our API key, so give us access to this endpoint. Um, I'm not sure why PHP Storm doesn't like this. Let's find out properties only written but never read. Ah, okay, that's fine. Once we continue with our class, we'll get some more. Um, this highlighting should go. So now that we've created our um, endpoints, we need to find a way to actually call um, the data, sorry, the API and get some movies to display on our page. So if you go into your um, TMDB accounts, go to settings, go to API, and you want to click on this, the documentation, which I already have opened, so I'll close that for now you will see a couple of endpoints that they can use but um that provide they provide to us for us to use but i'm going to stick with the discover movie this essentially provides a list of movies currently within the um database